Hi, I'm so pleased to be sharing this news with you on this beautiful full moon and a blue moon too in Aquarius. How lovely is that? Aquarius happens to be my ascendant. Anyway, um, I want to share with you this amazing news. Uh, I will be publishing my second book. I've just sold it to North Atlantic Books and that would be the publisher of Holistic Tarot. It was a no-brainer to go with them really. They took pretty good care of Holistic Tarot. and They're, they're just an amazing, amazing group. Anyway, this wasn't going to be my second book. After Holistic Tarot, I had started to work pretty seriously on a second book that would be on feng shui. I wasn't sure whether or not I would be integrating it with Tarot, but I started to, you know, work on the, you know, nuts and bolts of that manuscript. And um, I projected that one to be about 150 to 175,000 words. To give you a sense of size comparatively, Holistic Tarot is 200,000 words. Anyway, um, while I was working on the Feng Shui book, one of the sessions I started to write was on um, Feng Shui cures commonly found um, among the Chinese. And one of those Feng Shui cures is Fu Talismans. But then that section ballooned into a uh, much longer section. I took it out of the book because it didn't make sense in the book. And then I continued working on that separate document privately for myself. It wasn't going to be part of any text or any um, anything public, anything that would be made public. Um, I started working on that because it was something I really wanted to sort of um, bring all of my thoughts together cohesively for myself, for future progeny, things like that. And it turned into a 65,000 word document. So when I was um, tossing around ideas with North Atlantic Books, I mentioned this text in passing, told them about the subject matter, and they were very, very interested. They made an offer. It was a great one, so I couldn't say no, of course, and now it's going to be my second book. What is this book about? Oh, I'm kind of apprehensive. I, Like I said, I'm apprehensive because I didn't want it to be made public. So I'm still kind of working with, you know, <laughs> I don't know. You'll see why. The book is on Fu Talisman crafting, or what I refer to as Fu Sigils, because based on my sort of understanding and deconstruction of this craft, it's more align, aligned with sigil crafting than it is just talisman. Talisman can be very um, broad and big. So to make it more specific and give a grounding context for what these what this form of craft is, it's sigil crafting. And it's a craft in the um, esoteric Taoist magical tradition that, <clears throat> sorry, dates back to 400 BC. That's only what we have records of. We have records of it from 400 BC. Now, most scholars believe it dates back even farther than that to uh, the Neolithic period of China. This is before the Shang Dynasty. You're talking about 1600 BC when shamans in China were inscribing ideograms onto very thin pieces of wood and using them as talismans to summon deities. Well, not, you don't want to summon a deity. You call upon or you invoke a deity. You summon spirits and lower entities. And bad, <laughs> bad use of words is disrespectful. But, you know, you use it for summonings. You use it for invocations. Um, you use it for exorcism, things like that, but also for general good luck. I don't think that was really what was being used in the Neolithic period. Now you get to the Zhou dynasty, the classical period when Taoism came about. That's when these um, shamanic practices merged with, um, sort of uh, semiotically with um, Taoist philosophy. And Taoism in itself developed in a way into a religion. But then I talk about it as exoteric Taoism versus esoteric Taoism in my book and address esoteric Taoism more specifically. And um, one of the practices that arose was Fu Talisman crafting. Now, there's a whole history of that and how the lineages got into it. The first lineage that really uh, commercialized it in a sense, and it was sort of their uh, sole revenue stream. And that's why we have these very interesting uh, exclusivity requisites in a way where, oh, you must be an ordained Taoist priest or priestess in order to craft one, which I disagree with. Here's why I disagree with it. 
I went back in time into the original texts from 300 AD, 400 AD, and 600 AD, respectively, from the Zhou Dynasty to the Han Dynasty, even into the Tang Dynasty. These texts, written by some of the most renowned historic alchemists of, uh, of Chinese history, and looked at what they had to say about Fu talisman craft, and used that as the foundational basis of how I would teach craft. And so this book is based on those original texts teaching craft to the Western practitioner. The objective is for Western practitioners to understand the tradition here, the cultural and historic context, and see what bits and pieces from it would advance their own practice based on their current religion or their current lineage and traditions. And I just think that there's a lot here that would resonate with the Western practitioner. What I find very interesting is I haven't really seen any texts out there about food talisman craft, the actual craft of it. So this might, I dare say it might be the first of its kind. We have uh, scholarly historic treatises on food talis talismans, not by themselves, but within the context of Taoism as a religion or the history of Taoism, but you don't really see any text that addresses the um, tradition of food craft. So this is kind of going to be interesting how the Western world um, you know, reacts to it. I'm very apprehensive about it being my second book because it, it really goes you know, <laughs> in a different direction. It's, um, it might reveal a lot more about me and what I do than, than I'm usually comfortable with. So I, I can't believe it's my second book. But intuitively, it felt right, you know, and I was getting a lot of signs and omens that it would it would be right to have this out there. Um, and so hopefully I'm right. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I just wanted to make that announcement because I'm so, so excited about this. It, it's just been, you know, I've been really shaky and happy ever since I found out the news that I would be sharing it with more than just myself. All right. Thank you.